when you jumped or fell on your butt. <laughs> when I fall, get. I can do that. All right, folks, me and Xander have been working on Project Sin, the pickup truck that we're motor swapping. We're going to take a break from that and work on some recreational activities. Yeah, okay? remember those angry worked outside? That is one of those. Okay, and that's what we have to be of. So they can see you. So, we're going to take a break. We need a break from working on that truck. Um, we've also been working on the front deck in the in the front. Front deck in the front. Yeah, no duh. I'll try to take a video of that. We had to redo a bunch of that. A bunch of wood was rotting. So, we've been working on the truck. We've been working on the yard. We've been doing this. We've been doing a bunch of work. Now, let's have a little bit of fun. So, what did we get? Open time! We are going to be doing an unboxing and assembly. What's this box, Dad? What are the things? Oh. I don't know how to... We got three of these. We've already put two of them together. It's a Yahi Tech. Um, orange. Orange disc golf basket. Portable. Portable. But ours will end up being stationary at some point, I imagine. We're going to pause the video for just a second so I can turn this elephant off. Very creepy. Very creepy. Very creepy. Can I open this now? So these right? No. These run about $69 on Amazon is what we got them for. This box says, be careful, do not open with sharp objects. Yeah, guess what? We're going to open it with sharp object because we are professionals. Just be careful doing this. Yeah, be careful. You would never want to do this. And with your go go. And with your little cake. Mm -hmm. The two we did, they're pretty simple. They provide you with an Allen wrench that you need. So we're going to unbox. Here's your instructions. We don't need them anymore because we're professionals now. We don't. For real, we don't. Do we feel Tools. Here comes our other helper. I'm going to go off camera and cut this. Here's the bottom piece. Okay. Okay. Bottom piece has two holes. Find the pole that has two holes at the bottom. That goes right there. We're going to take two screws with the provided Allen wrench and screw those in. I am going to put a little bit of Loctite on mine. Choo choo. Pop.
I'm going to take some blue Loctite and Loctite these. Some people, this is a portable one, so if you wanted to, you could undo this, put it in the trunk of your car, go wherever you want to, but we're putting this on our own personal property and it's going to stay up. So, thank you. Does this go on the very top? Yes. So I'm going to take two screws, put a little bit of Loctite, blue Loctite. No! No. Okay, this over here. What did y'all do with the wrench? Why is it a wrench? No, that's right. I'm going to get these started and then I'm going to have Xander finish them. Alright, next component on top of the pole you've already got up, the basket. Got to match this hole here. Just wait on that one. Match that hole up. Okay, we need some more Loctite. I'm not doing that, Dad. I don't want this one. Okay, Dad. Don't want this one. Dun, dun. Well, I sure am with. That's all you have to do. Mm. 
You need to learn take this. Don't touch that. Hey, that one. Hang on, bro, before you get all that tangled up. Alright, let's see what we're working with here. Let's see what Xander's got going on here. Dude, you can't just put, start putting them up there. Let me get a couple of them going and then I'll let you do some. Alright, come do this one. All right, do this one. All right, I got this one. All right, do that one. Do this one. All right, we got one piece left, Willow. The faggy. It's called the faggy of the sea. I call it that. that. The faggy of the sea. It's time for the faggy of the sea. Watch this, Dad. What? What? What's that? What? All done. Well, let's so assembly is pretty easy. Yep, it's pretty easy. <coughs> so easy. Mom, we did that without instructions. Yeah, we did it without instructions for the third time. Yeah, we, we got some work out to do it. I can make one. Seems pretty sturdy for 70 bucks. There are some lot nicer ones you can get on Amazon that are like 150. Uh, but this is very fine Guess for a budget disc golf course. Guess what? Guys? What? You would have to get the steel part. I want it. I want it. I can do everything. All right, so we did leave. I had two of these sitting outside. We did have a storm come through with some pretty good wind, and it did blow one of them over. Uh, it does come with stakes, so we will probably set these where they go, and we'll have to stake them down. They do send some stakes. Um, more than likely, when I figure out where I want these, I probably put something more permanent there so they don't get blown over. So we're obviously not very good at this yet. But for the money, I think it's worth it. I do have a good friend who actually lives on the same road I do, uh, who has about eight of these things, I think he said. 
and he's had them up for about close to two years and they've held up pretty good so we've got three to start off with and yeah uh, every once in a while we'll buy another one here or there and set them up on our 10 acres of property but uh, right now we got them close together figure out where we want to put them that one Till next time. Probably not work. So, let's see if I'm good. Yeah, I'm going to have to be good. Old deck coming down. New one going up. We're gonna have an awning over it. Oh, yeah. This is gonna probably, my friend that has his own course down the road, suggested doing our first basket off the deck. So let's do that. Going from there, all the way out there somewhere. I can't see it, there it is. Way over there. Strong enough. Have to be strong. Well, we strong. I'll go get it. Nope. Why? Because I gotta throw it from where it's at. Okay, I'm done. Jumped your fell on your butt. <laughs> when I 